Welcome back into game night on the Paladin Network. The NFL season kicks off Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 5.30 local time in Seattle when the defending Super Bowl champion Seahawks take on the Green Bay Packers and Steven, who's our producer, they're going to get crushed. Chris, are you excited? Definitely. Big on the Seahawks. I mean, last year I was excited every time that I could watch them. I mean, they played great. Obviously, Russell Wilson. I'm a big fan. I've been a big fan of Russell Wilson since NC State. Uh, I, I'm real excited. I think uh, the Packers are going to struggle a little bit. I mean, that, the 12th man effect, I mean, like, it's worse than an earthquake in there. I mean, like, that place rocks. And Thursday night, first game of the season, I think we're going to see a Seahawks win. I'm real excited for uh, NFL to be back. Yeah, I think there could not be a better matchup. And while I'm going to sit here on camera and say officially for the record that the Packers are going to go 0-16 this year, Stephen, I still think it's going to be a great game. The Legion of Boom versus Aaron Rodgers, arguably the best quarterback in the league. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But, Chris, let me ask you, is Seattle going to go back to the Super Bowl this year? I'm not sure. Like, you want to say yes, but then you see the Saints. And this, this the year that Drew Brees is going to march the Saints back to the Super Bowl? I think that's definitely a possibility. The 49ers, I think those are the three teams you have to think about. But I think the 49ers, you got some, some suspensions over there. I think this is their last chance before they have to start paying some of their players big and they're going to have to kind of like disassemble some of their talent. I think this is their last chance, and I think it's a pretty bad one. I think you're looking at Seahawks or Saints right now. But... As we learn in week one of college football, anything can happen, and I'm not going to put my money on anybody right now. But if I had to, go and Seahawks or Saints. Yeah, you know, there may not be as much parity in the NFL as there is in college football, but certainly when you look at the NFC, like it is absolutely stacked. Seahawks are going to be the favorite because the Seahawks are just a very, very good team, especially defensively. They're well coached. Pete Carroll is, is a guy that people love to play for, and Russell Wilson has proven time and time again that he's not just a game manager. He can manage the game as well as anyone in the league, but as we've seen and as we saw last year against the 49ers, he can come up with a big play when it counts, but I think you're right to point out that the Saints – also, we're going to be considered one of the top contenders in the NFC. The 49ers are also always a great team, but you mentioned Alden Smith suspended for the first nine games. Ray McDonald will be suspended for at least six, uh, which is interesting because it will be the first uh, suspension with the new official rule change regarding domestic violence that the NFL has implemented in the, here in the last couple weeks. And I think another couple teams that you're going to have to watch out for, I think Carolina. You saw they were good last year. I think they might take a step back this year. They lost some receivers, but they're going to be competitive in the South. Uh, I think the Bucks and, and the Falcons are, are going to continue to be at the bottom of that division. So I think the Panthers and the Saints in the South are going to be good. The NFC West, I mean, we already talked about the Seahawks and the 49ers. Arizona has a fantastic front seven and has been in you know, most all of their games. I don't remember the last time they were blown out. They're always going to be a contender there. Maybe not on the same level as Seattle or San Francisco yet, but the NFC is, is stacked this year. Uh, you know, disregard the East, but the other three divisions are, uh, are looking pretty good. Uh, now, what about in the AFC, Chris? Denver, you know, returning a lot of bodies, including, you know, a couple of pieces that they've got on defense. But Wes Welker suspended for the first four games after having found to have been using amphetamines. How much is this going to hurt uh, Denver? And in the long run, is Denver going back to the Super Bowl to represent the AFC? I think Denver is going to take a step back. Uh, losing Eric Decker to the Jets is big. Losing uh, Nashawn Marino is also big. And then Welker, I mean, a lot of concussion issues. I mean, the kid, I mean, honestly, we might need to be thinking, should the career be over, you know, and, and be thinking about his safety. But also, you know, the four-game suspension, that's going to hurt a lot. But I think you're going to see a rematch in the AFC Championship game. But I think Tom Brady's going to do it, and he's going to go back to the Super Bowl. He's getting old. I think he's 37 this year. He hasn't been in the Super Bowl in a little while. He hasn't won one in a long time. Um, the receivers can't be worse than they were last year. Gronk, I don't know if he's going to be healthy, but people think he's going to be healthy. And a, a healthy Gronk is going to do a lot for your offense. And then the defense had a lot of injury concerns last year that uh, have been shored up for this season. So I think the Patriots, who are always you know, going to win uh, the AFC East, I think they've got a great chance of making the Super Bowl. But don't count out Peyton Manning either. I mean, Monty Ball, everyone's high on Monty Ball. You know, maybe no Sean Marino leaving won't mean anything. Maybe that team will be as prolific as it was last year, but I don't personally think it will. 
I'm thinking Patriots uh, Saints uh, matchup in the Super Bowl maybe. All right. Well, I'm going to address a couple a couple of things you said. First of all, if you're the Patriots uh, regarding Rob Gronkowski. Uh, I think that it has to be a good sign that they have not made a decision on him yet. I know that sounds weird, but considering he's missed so much time with injury, the fact that he has not been ruled out almost makes you a little bit optimistic that right. maybe he could possibly play. Also, uh, signing Darrell Revis in the offseason is huge after they lost to Keeb Tlaib to Denver, which also, going to Denver now, I think that's a huge signing um, defensively. That, that's, a, that's a lockdown corner, and it's going to sure up maybe a couple of problems that they had defensively. But here's the thing. Peyton Manning's a year older but also a year smarter. I think Denver's going to be just as good. They've lost Eric Decker, but they still have weapons in Julius Thomas and Demarius Thomas. You still have Monte Ball, who can catch the ball out of the backfield. You have talent on that offense. Not a lot is going to change there. Uh, and defensively, as I've already mentioned, signing uh, Aqib Tlaib is going to be big for that Denver defense. Denver, the Patriots, again, after signing Revis, maybe getting Gronk back. You know, Brady and Belichick got to be getting Nancy. Brady's not going to be playing for the next you know, seven years, so it's kind of now or never time for the Patriots. Um, and yeah, that really feels like it could be about it for the AFC. They're, it's, it's, it's pretty weak. It's not, it's not nearly as deep as the NFC, some of the other teams that come to mind. Yeah, no one? I think you have to think of the Colts. Chargers, maybe? Colts? But uh, Andrew Luck is obviously a great quarterback. He's been very successful since he joined the league. That offensive line... Doesn't impress me. The running game with Trent Richardson, I mean, last year. Well, between, between Trent, Trent Richardson and the issue they have at guard, I mean, it's going to be all on Andrew Luck's shoulders, yeah. and, he's, and he's, he's, a, he's good. But just team comparisons, I don't think the Colts will be, would be able to match up with Denver or New England. Right. No, I definitely agree. But I think, you know, you're talking about the Chargers. Phillip Rivers, always solid quarterback. You got some good uh, players there. Who knows? We'll see. All right, well, that's all the time we have for this week's episode. Be sure to join us next week when we recap week one of the NFL as well as week two of college football and maybe a couple other things. Thanks for watching Game Night on the Paladin Network.